Hey guys, Dangle Nerd here. Um, it's Friday morning. It's about 10.40. I have a dental appointment <laughs> at 11, so I'm just uh, chilling in the parking lot. Um, I have to put away my my weapon. I don't know if I can carry it in the dentist's office, but you're not supposed to carry it in any kind of healthcare facility, so. And I figure I'm gonna be inclined, you know, on the, on the dental chair and I don't know, the hygienist or dentist, they might, you know, they might see something and they'll freak out. So better just avoid that. Um, put it away in my Hornady Tripoint Light Box. So that's been a great box. Uh, if you guys are looking for something, you know, a safe to keep in your car, I would highly recommend that. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was like $36, something like that. Let's see the, um, what is that? The RP, I can never remember that thing. RPNB, uh, four pistol uh, lockbox, uh, pistol safe. So I've been, the customer service has been great. I, you know, sent them messages or emails and then uh, they responded within hours. Um, it seems like you have to buy a, a new battery compartment because my, pre my previous one just, Bit the bit the dust after almost one year. Just battery corrosion. Ah, sorry about that. Just battery corrosion. So um, have to get a new one. It's not covered under the limited one year warranty. So uh, they said that it cost about fifteen to twenty dollars, and then of course you have to pay for shipping. So I don't know if it's worth it to me. I I'll just probably just use the key from now on. So. Um, other than that, let's see what else. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's about it. Uh, I did a video last night when I came in uh, to Dallas when I got home from San Antonio about the Victos Upscale 2 sling pack, and that's for my, my brother in law. So, but it's a really nice, nice bag. I like it. <laughs> I would like to keep it, but um, she's leaving for Korea on Monday. She's got a, I think a five day trip there. So um, I'll mess around with it some more. I'll <laughs> maybe post another video. Uh, so yeah, uh, other than that, that's all I have for you right now. So uh, thanks for watching. So this is the, part that I forgot last night. <laughs> I just came in um, to Dallas from San Antonio. So I have these hook and loop pads, the, the hook part that I've made. And I, <laughs> I don't know, I didn't think about it. But um, yeah, I, I use that to attach my tier one concealed holsters to all my bags. And so it's a flexible pad that Velcros to the holster. And this is for the P320, so I'll use my M18 Airsoft and see if it works with that, that gun. Yeah, so the pad just secures to the Velcro in the bag. The holster secures to the, the pad. Everything's good. It actually fits. Um, it's not the smoothest opening for the zipper, though, because it's 
a little bit the grip kind of interferes a little bit so and it's a little bit i think too big for this bag but i suppose if you had nothing else in the bag it, it could work that's the m18 size but uh, i would probably want something a little bit smaller and i think the p365 would probably be the better option if you're off body carrying with this bag As you can see, this is, you know, like, fits the P365XL with the Tier 1 Concealed Hexus Elite holster. And it's got my hook and loop pad. I don't know why I didn't think about it last night when I was making <laughs> my original video. I just, you know, arrived home after five and a half hours driving from San Antonio. So, yeah, my brain wasn't fully functioning. Oh yeah, this works. My little hook and loop pad. Everything stays on. It's, it's empty. And then you have it's everything right in front of your chest. So you have access to your weapon. And, and um, I think in the front I would probably use that for my maybe like an eye pack. So I thought I would empty out. This is my little bleed kit that I that always stays with my range, my uh, Vertex Course of Fire range bag. But um, I just wanted to see if I can get everything in here from the from the from the bleed kit into there. So um, bandages, maybe throw those in here. This is the, some, I put some gloves in there and this is the rescue blanket. Uh, what else? Chest vents, we got two. Uh, so maybe these in here too. Okay. Gotta get a tourniquet in there. Gotta get. So let's see, start shoving things in. Compress bandage in there. And then, I don't think this is not open. Okay, I'll just put that in there. More bandages. Gotta get our shears. Some sanitizing wipe, wipers, maybe slap this in, some tape. Uh, and there you go. Everything fits in there. Now how does it close up? <coughs> Voila. I would definitely add a like a braided paracord on a zipper pull, just so it'd be easier to grab and pull around to your front and then open the zipper at the same time. So that's probably one one change I would make if if this you know were my bag. 